hello guys welcome back so uh, in the previous video i have explained like what is insertion sort so now in this video let's quickly implement it okay so without wasting any further time let's get into it so this was the insertion sort and we had the array right so if you want you can uh, go through this once more and then let's start implementing it okay so we had this uh, word say this unsorted array right so what we i am going to do how i will sort it right so what i will do i'll simply start the loop from here okay the parent loop i'll start from here and then uh, inside of that parent loop i'll run another loop okay which will basically check the previous value as well because it's not there is no point of running uh, like uh, the loop from the beginning right from the starting because as we have already seen like uh, the first element we will consider it as a sorted uh, element right in insertion sort and then we compare it with the other numbers and then we uh, pick out the value and then we place it on its current correct position right so now here what we will do since we are starting a loop from here inside of that loop what we will do we will simply check if the current position of the element is greater than the uh, what to say or is, is smaller than the uh, like the previous position okay then we will simply copy that previous position and we paste it here okay and then we check again if again this is the same thing then we will uh, paste that value here otherwise what we will do whichever current positions value we have stored in some variable or somewhere that we will move something like this okay and then now again here we will check so in the next iteration what will happen we will loop through this and then we will check if 9 is greater than 7 then we will copy the value of 9 and we will paste it here and then we will check if 4 is also greater than 7 or the current value if we are storing it somewhere then we will replace it with the current value otherwise what we will do we will simply paste the value which we have stored in some variable or something the current uh, variables uh, current position value and then we paste it here right it may sound confusing but don't worry guys after implementing it we are going to see everything in the browser itself so everything will be crystal clear by the end of this video so make sure like you will be there with me bear with me till the end of this video right okay so now let's start implementing it so for that let me quickly write a function function sort insertion sort here i'll pass an array okay and then what i will do i'll simply return an array at the end because it is an in place uh, like what to say sorting so we don't need to create a new array and then we have to return it we'll simply return the existing array itself okay so now here what i'll do i'll run a for loop okay so for let i equals to one so as i mentioned i'll start the parent loop from here okay so let's do it quickly so i here and then i is more than array dot length and then i plus plus right so it's a basic for loop i don't know why i'm speaking all the syntaxes of it but anyways it's fine right so here what we will do whichever current element we have we will store it in some variable okay so let current value right here we will simply store array at position i okay so if we are looping through the array if the current index is this then the current value will be array at position 0 uh, array at position 1 which is 4 otherwise 7 2 3 okay so this way we will not lose track from the current value current position from the parent index okay and all this will make sense at the end of the implementation okay now i want to check the previous value as well okay so for that what i can do i can simply create an index for uh, i can simply create another index which will track like uh, one index uh, minus one then the current index right so for that let's quickly create a variable j and then here i'll store i minus one okay so in simple words it will be like if i is four then j will be three if i is five then j will be 4 right if i is 2 then j will be 1 if i is 1 j will be 0 if i is 0 j will be minus 1 okay 
so this is what i want so that we can whenever we are looping through the array right we can keep track of the previous value as well we can compare like if the previous value is greater than our current value okay so basically this is step if the previous value is greater than our current value then what we will do we will simply add this previous value in the place of current value okay and then in this uh, in this case we will have 9 in the previous value and then 9 in the current value as well right and since we are going to store the current value in a variable so we will keep track of it right and at the end what we will do we will simply update uh, the current value at the previous value like so okay this is how like it will simply start sorting the array right now what we can do we can simply run a while loop okay so here we have to write few conditions let's say j should be greater than or equals to zero okay j should not be like smaller than zero as i've already discussed if i uh, if i goes to zero then it should not be minus one okay and it this case will occur okay even though if we are uh, running the loop from uh, first index okay and everything i'll show you in the browser okay so everything will be crystal clear and what i want is array at position j it should be greater than the current value okay then only i want this while loop to run okay so basically array at position j which will be 9 and then at current value will be 4 if it is greater than 4 then only we have to switch their places right we have to add it here and then current value we can inject here right otherwise it does not make any sense if the current value like if the previous value which is j is smaller than the current value then we are not going to move this number here right somewhere so we don't want any such case so that is why we will check if the current value which is array at position i okay let's keep here let's say i here okay and j here okay this is how it is going to work basically so if array at position i is smaller than array at position j right or we can say current value is smaller than array at position j then only we are going to add this number here and then we are going to add this number here right and this is it, it will keep on running till time it finds it matches this condition if you if you know about while loop then it will keep on running the while loop like it will keep on going inside this while loop if the condition matches right that doesn't matter if it is in a in a single for loop or like what to say if it is not even in any for loop it will run until or unless this condition fails to match right so this is what basically the for how the while loop works right now here what we are going to do so array at position j plus one we are simply going to assign the value of array at position j okay so this step is basically what i have done is see if array at position j is greater than current value then what we will do we will simply copy this value and we'll simply add it here like this okay so this is what this step will do and then j minus minus okay and then what we will do we'll again go back to one index uh, smaller than the current j index okay so that we can check if there is any index which is greater than zero okay then uh, we will consider that element and we can com compare that element with our current element okay so which will occur let's say here okay so let's cut from here and then we can paste it here okay it's so annoying okay so that condition will occur basically here somewhere like after the first loop from the second loop onwards right so let me quickly revert it back from 9 to 4 right so here what will happen see here j will be somewhere like if 0 1 2 3 okay if i is 3 then j will be 2 right so what we will do we will decrement the value of j and then we will simply tell him we will simply tell it like if j is still greater than 0 and if array at position j is, is still greater than current position of uh, current value which is 2 and as you can see in this case it is greater than 2 right so what we will do we will uh, we'll switch their places or the way which i have explained just now 
okay like just before this iteration okay so here what we will do is we will simply copy this value and we will simply paste it here okay and then what we will do we will go 1 minus j okay and then so array at position i will be 2 right so current position we are storing as 2 right so here again we will check since we are decrementing j so again we will check if array at position j which is 9 right now if it is greater than 2 which we are storing in the uh, current value if again it is greater than uh, like the current value then what we will do we will simply copy this number and then we will place it at the place of 2 right earlier it was 4 now we will paste 2 here uh, 9 here right because this is the greater element which we found right and then here as we can see there is no other element so what we will do we will simply add 2 here like this okay so earlier it was 9 so we will add 2 here like this okay so this is how uh, this basically while loop is going to work okay so i have just explained you so right now we have just wrote the logic until this part so if array at position j is greater than array at position i okay then we are simply copying the value of uh, array at position j and we are simply pasting it here right and then we are decrementing the value of j to minus 1 okay so something like this so right now the value of j will be minus 1 right that means there is no element okay so we have written the condition till here so far okay so let's quickly add the implementation where we are replacing the value of the current element with the previous element okay so basically four array at position i we are going to add here because if we are storing it in some variable then obviously we are going to place it back in the array right so that is what we are going to do now okay that's simple what we have to do we have to simply copy this code and then we have to paste it here and then see in this while loop what we were doing we are simply pasting uh, the array at position j right so whatever value we will get from here but this time since we are storing current uh, current value in a variable right so we'll simply paste it here and you are done with the insertion sort and i don't know why it is not sorting i think it is because of this let's me quickly comment it and then let's see if i can format it or not okay now i can format it okay so now we are done with the insertion sort right now let's quickly test it first and then i will show you in the browser like how everything is working okay in case if you are finding it confusing right so 49 i think it was like 94 earlier right 9 and then 4 and then here it was 2 right if i'm not wrong so let's copy this array from here okay and then let's paste pass the array inside the insertion sort and obviously i have to wrap it in the console log okay so lg and then here so now as you can see our insertion sort is working just fine two three four seven nine right it is working fine it is sorting the array right now uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of it otherwise i'm going to attach this snippet in the description anyways so don't worry about the snippet at all okay so now let's try to understand how it works in the uh, like how it is working internally right i'm not going to add any console logs in this otherwise there will be bunch of console logs which will be holding bunch of values and you will easily get confused and you will easily go blank right like you will not understand what is going on here okay so that is why in this lecture i prefer to show you like uh, everything in the browser okay so let's quickly detach it from this console okay i think this is the one doc side so let's expand it and then here i'll be going into the sources just give me a second guys okay let me just i think i can stretch it or not okay i can stretch it right so i think you guys can see everything clearly right now let me go back to the code it will be somewhere at the very bottom right so let me go there okay so here i am going to add the debugger at this step inside the for loop 
in this current value j y loop when it is entering into the y loop if it is entering here then we are decrementing it and then we are updating the value like added position i plus 1 as the current value right so in all these things we are going to add the debuggers so just forget about this thing it is just it will just show the debuggers right so don't worry about this what you have to do whenever we are running it okay that is the point that is where like we will get something in the scope and that is what matters actually right so now let's quickly i think i have to refresh it right so i think this one i have to refresh it. let's refresh okay now it's up and running okay so let's quickly collapse this and then okay so i hope yeah everything is fine now i can scroll i i think you guys can see it clearly right because i have not covered any of the code okay so yeah this is fine so right now we are at the first index right the value of i is 1 it's first loop so the value of i will be 1 array at position 1 is going to be 4 okay so in current value we will get 4 here okay so let's play it okay and yeah so here we will get 4 again okay or i think let's move it like this otherwise whenever i'm playing this it's going to expand this right because we have debuggers here in these lines right so now as you can see current value is 4 which is which we are storing in this current value variable so which is basically array at position i which is 4 right if you see the array at position 1 we have 4 here okay now array at position j right so array at position j is going to be 1 minus 1 which is 0 right now the value of i is 1 right so 1 minus 1 which is 0 so array at position j is going to be uh, like 0 at position 0 which is 9 right so let's see okay so the index of j is 0 right now so array at position j is going to be 9 and now we will check j is greater than or equals to 0 of course it is array at position j okay so j is 0 so array at position j is going to be 9 right so 9 is greater than current value which is actually true right 9 is greater than 4 right so what we are going to do we are going to enter inside this while loop okay so now inside this while loop just have a close look like what happens in this array right now okay so array at position j plus 1 so right now j is 0 so j plus 1 will be 1 right this is which is uh, 4 right so which is which is which is basically equals to current value right so array at position j plus 1 will be uh, array at position 1 which will be array which will be 4 right so here we are going to simply assign whatever we are getting from the array at position j right so array at position j was 9 which is this so this thing we are going to assign at array at position j plus 1 which is 4 right so here we are going to get 9 and 9 in these two places okay so yeah as you can see we are getting 9 and 9 okay because we are simply uh, checking if the array at position j is greater than the current value we are simply adding it there in the in place of current value right so we don't have to worry about the current value because we are already storing it in some variable right and we are going to update it at some point later right so now we are decrementing the index j right why is that so so right now we have added position j with uh, right now we have value of j is zero right so we'll make sure like if there is no other element uh, like which is left to compare with the current value okay and if it is there then we are going to compare that element with the current element and then we are going to do the same thing which we have done here okay we'll paste that element's value in the current position and then we will place the current position's value in that element okay so basically short and simple you just have to consider first loop is running for in forward direction and the second loop is running in backward direction it is checking all the previous elements to make sure there is no other element left which is greater than the current element okay that is what this while loop is all about okay so now we are decrementing the value of j here by one so right now it will be i think minus one so right now as you can see okay here also it is highlighting so right now j is minus 1 and then since j is minus 1 which is not 
greater than or equals to zero it will not go inside the while loop right so what will happen it will simply go into this line where array at position j plus one so minus one plus one will be zero right so what this is what we are going to do here current value of j is minus one and then uh, we are adding plus one to it okay so what it will become it will become uh, what to say array at position zero right so minus one plus one will become zero or let me quickly select it i think i can right so minus one plus one will become zero right and array at position zero we will have nine so here we are simply going to update the current value which we are storing in some variable okay so right now the current value is four this is what we are going to store simply in the first position okay so now i'll play it it is going here and then as you can see now we got four here so we have simply switched their value and it's not we can say switching we have replaced their value in place okay so yeah this is all about the first iteration now let's go into the second iteration and let's see what happens okay everything is going to be the same only but we will every uh, like on every iteration everything will be uh, like crystal clear like how it is working right so yeah i'll play it right now the current value is four and then right now the index is two right because we are in the second iteration right now okay so j minus one will be two minus one okay so i is two then j minus one uh sorry i minus one will be one so value of j will be one right as you can see now we are getting one because of this right again we are entering in the while loop right so here j is one which is greater than zero obviously array at position j let's see right now array at position j which is one so which is nine so it is greater than the current value or not let's see so what is the current value right now it is seven and it is greater than the current value so it will go inside this while loop right as we have already discussed right so now it is going inside the while loop and then here we will update nine and since we are storing seven in the current value so uh, that doesn't matter we will simply update array at position j here right in the place of seven okay so as you can see we have updated it here already now we will decrement the value of j right now the value of j was one right so we will decrement it by one and then now it will become zero that means we are going to check this element as well if this element is greater than seven current value or not if it is also greater than current value then we are going to do the same thing which we have done just now okay so let's play it okay so right now the uh, value of j is zero and then current value is seven so array at position zero is four which is not greater than seven right so this condition is simply failing here so it will not go inside the while loop so what will happen we will simply update array at position zero with the current value okay i think array at position j plus one oh let's see okay so right now value of j is zero okay so zero plus one it is going to be one so array at position one here we are going to update the current value which is seven because we have stored it in some variable and since we have copied that array at position j's value in the current position we have to bring back the current value right somewhere so this is a place where we are bringing back the current value and we are storing it into the array right so now this array at position j which is array at position one right now array at position one okay so which is nine right now okay here we are going to store current value which is i think i can hover it which is seven right so let's play it okay so now we have four seven nine so these three elements are sorted as you can see our array is getting sorted gradually right so this is how like uh, the insertion sort works internally okay and that is why i prefer to show you like in the debugger in the browser right otherwise you won't you will simply get confused if i show you in the console log right because this is not something which i can show you in the console log i don't want to make your guys life harder right uh, while explaining something right so now let's move on to the next iteration so we we are done with the this part of sorting and then we are moving on to the next iteration right so right now the index is the i value of i is 3 
and then let's play it so j minus 1 is going to be 2 i think by now you are you are clear with it okay and then here again we are checking the same thing like if j is greater than 0 which is obviously 2 is greater than 0 array at position j so array at position 2 we have to check so let's quickly i think here here we can see right so 0 1 2 so array at position 2 is uh, 9 right and then current value we are storing as current value is 2 okay so which is greater than current value so array at position j is greater than current value right which is array at position 3 because index was 3 right so array at position 3 is 2 and array at position 2 is 9 so 9 is obviously greater than 2 right and this 2 is our current value and this this is coming from array at position j right so what will happen it will again go inside this while loop and then the same procedure will happen okay here we are going to paste array at position j's value here in the current in place of current value okay like so and then we will decrement the index by one okay to see if there is any element which is greater than current value and as you can see there is one element right so even if we decrement the current value which is 2 of j by 1 so array at position uh, 1 right so we are decrementing the value of j by 1 so we have decremented it because of this thing and then again it will go inside this while loop right because here value of j is 1 again right and array at position j is 7 so array at position 1 here as you can see array at position j is 7 right which is again greater than the current value so what we will do we will simply copy this value and we will paste here because this was the current values position right so we will paste this value here i think i think and not sure right now okay so let's play it array at position j plus 1 okay sorry we are going to place this value here okay so we are simply creating a gap right so if this element is greater than the current value then we will move it here and then we'll create a gap here and then if this value is greater than this value then we'll move it here and then we'll create a gap here okay something like that we are we are going to do right so let's play it okay now we have seven pasted in this position in array at position j plus one basically right so we have pasted seven here right now if the element if the current value is still smaller than the array at position j minus one then again what we will do we will simply copy this number and we'll place it here and if there's no number then we'll simply place it at the first position okay so let's play it okay so as you can see it is again entering into the while loop and right now the value of j is zero because we have already decremented it okay and this while loop will keep on running until or unless this condition fails to match right so this is how like the basic while loop works if you know you know right so right now still j is zero which is equals to zero and array at position j which is going to be four since we have four in the zeroth position and our current value is two right so four is still greater than two so what we will do we'll simply add this thing in the first place okay and then we'll copy we'll copy four here okay so we are going to copy this value and we're going to paste this value here in the first position and then here we are going to create a gap where we are going to store the current value which we are storing in the variable right now okay so let's play it okay so let me collapse it so this is a step where we are going to paste this value here so let's play it okay so we have pasted that value in the in the j plus 1 index okay now what we will do we have created a gap here so you can consider this value as a gap right here what we will do we will simply decrement the value of j right now it's 0 so 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 so since we have no other element which is like at position minus 1 or j is minus 1 right so which is smaller than 0 which is not either equals to 0 or greater than 0 right so it will simply not go inside this while loop so what will happen now it will go in this step it will move on to the next line okay so which means array at position uh, minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 array at position 0 here we are going to store 2 
okay so basically in this position we are going to store two now right so let's play it okay so since this j is minus one so it will not go inside this while loop and then it will move on to the next line where j is minus one and minus one plus one is going to be zero and array at position zero we have four so here we are going to store current value right so current value is two so in place of four we are going to store two okay so here in place of four we are going to store two okay so now uh, okay so just leave it for now okay so now this is how like uh, our insertion sort will work right so right now i is at index four i think it's already started running into the next loop okay so let's play it and then let's just see like how it goes right on every step because i've already explained you the steps like how it will work right so these are the same things which are going to happen over and over again i just want to see like how the array is getting sorted every time okay so let's see okay we are playing it and then we have this element then let's see what happens okay so again right now j is j is 2 current value is 3 i is 4 it is somewhere i think 0 1 2 3 4 it is here somewhere right now okay so let's see let's keep on running it and then okay so now our array is sorted we must have got something in the console okay so there is a little problem happened just now we have lost the four here somehow right zero one two three four as you can see it is returning two uh like in two places i think it is because of debugger only so let's quickly disable the debuggers and then let's play it once more to see uh, whether it is again working the same way or not okay so it is working the same way it was because of the debuggers only so don't worry about that okay so debugger we have played just to understand how things are working right so our logic is working just fine only since we have added multiple debuggers and at multiple places so it might have lost some execution context at some point so that is why that issue might have happened okay otherwise you can use the debuggers uh, or you can use the browser to understand how this insertion sort is working right or let me quickly just bring it back to its original place which is here okay so yeah you can uh, use debugger to like understand the steps how this insertion sort is working okay and then you can run it like this so that you can make sure like your array is sorted or not right so this is all about insertion sort in a nutshell okay and by the way there is one more way to implement this insertion sort so i have shown you the while loop right you can also implement it with the help of for loop as well but with for loop it is going to be a little more uh, confusing for you guys that is why i prefer to choose like this while loop because here as you can see these conditions are sort of straight forward only right so it's easy to understand it's easy to go through these steps right but in while for loop you will get a little bit confused but you still if you want like if you want me to implement uh, the same solution in for loop as well then comment down uh, like come uh, write down the comments in this video okay and then um, after seeing the comments if there are more comments on the same thing like if you want me to implement the same thing in the for loop then i'll create another video with the uh, with the for, for loop as well okay otherwise i will move on to the next sorting algorithm okay so yeah this is all about insertion sort and now let's talk about uh, let's quickly talk about the time complexity okay so as you as you can already see we are running two loops one inside another right so in worst case and worst case i mean if there is totally unsorted array right in worst case the time complexity will be o of n square right and i think by now you are already familiar you, by seeing itself you can predict like what could be the time complexity right and in average and best case i'll just mention best case here you can consider best and average both 
so in best case it is going to be o of n if there is like if all the elements are sorted then it is not going to we are not going to run this this loop right so we are at least going to go through each element once right so in this case the time complexity will be o of n right so best case i mean like it's totally sorted or almost sorted we can say okay right so this is the time complexity of this insertion sort and this is insertion sort i hope you guys might have enjoyed it and still at some point you guys found like you didn't understood any step then you can revert the video you play it over and over again until you understand this thing right so yeah this is it for this lecture see you in the next one